Isaac and his mother lived alone in a small house on a hill. Isaac kept to himself, drawing pictures and playing with his toys as his mom watched Christian broadcasts on the television. Life was simple, and they were both happy. That was until the day Isaac's mom heard a voice from above. Your son has become corrupted by sin. He needs to be saved. I will do my best to save him, my lord, Isaac's mother replied, rushing into Isaac's room, removing all that was evil from his life. Again, the voice called to her. Isaac's soul is still corrupt. He needs to be cut off from all that is evil in this world and confess his sins. I will follow your instructions, Lord. I have faith in thee, Isaac's mother replied as she locked Isaac in his room away from the evils of the world. One last time, Isaac's mom heard the voice of God calling to her. You've done as I've asked, but I still question your devotion to me to prove your faith. I will ask one more thing of you. Yes, Lord, anything. Isaac's mother begged. To prove your love and devotion, I require a sacrifice. Your son, Isaac, will be this sacrifice. Go into his room and end his life as an offering to me to prove you love me above all else. Yes, Lord, she replied, grabbing a butcher's knife from the kitchen. Isaac, watching through a crack in his door, trembled in fear. Scrambling around his room to find a hiding place, he noticed a trap door to the basement hidden under his rug. Without hesitation, he flung open the hatch, just as his mother burst through his door and threw himself down into the unknown depths below. All right, so uh, welcome to Binding of Isaac. Um, I've played this game fairly a lot on Xbox, so I at least, you know, sort of know what I'm doing. Um, let's go ahead and start a new run. Oh, yeah, uh, how about that win streak? All right, so let's just go ahead and, um, talk about the elephant in the room. <laughs> I know my last video was a Sonic video and I of course <laughs> you know think you know at episode zero oh there's gonna be more N don't worry there will be more <laughs> just um I uh I know I recently bought Isaac and so I really just wanted to not only just you know record this series because I really want to try to record, but also like make progress on games. You know, sort of just like a whole big adventure. Everyone, you know, we can all watch just you know the whole progression that I uh, you know will make, unlocking you know each character, unlocking more items, and you know getting that perfect run where you immediately get a couple items and you're already. Godlike. Um. So yeah, uh, more Sonic sooner or later. Um, for now, Isaac. Mm. I'm gonna go ahead and save that heart for later. More keys. Um, for any of you new to Isaac, um, it's. You know, it's very similar to how the original uh, first Legend of Zelda was, you know, with each room, as in like a dungeon. Um, you know, you get items each floor. Um, the reason why I'm destroying each of these uh, poops is because you can either get like keys or... I forget, I'm, I'm pretty sure coins as well. Um, Oh, I just noticed there was a hidden, uh, hidden, uh, rock that I could have destroyed. 
Well, I only have one, one bomb as of right now. Better off saving it. Um, of course, here's our first one of many random bosses that you could get. And thanks, like, I would say, like, um, th thanks to my little buddy that's already, um, very, very useful. Because I could, of course, you know, I could have just stood in the other side of the room and all the enemies, of course, could have just taken as much damage thanks to my little ghost. And then the ghost, I'm pretty sure it, it inflicts fear on the enemy. So I'm pretty sure that means... Um, like, enemies would just run away from me. Um... Okay. Uh, okay, I was about to say, I have one bomb, but now I have three, so I can just go ahead and open up this little doohickey. Oh, okay, I'm very lucky with bombs. I, and I just saw it, too, on the bottom left corner. Um, one of those rocks, which... Of course, I'm not too familiar if it's like a 100% chance of always getting coins or unless it just contains items. Okay, so like soul hearts, which are just temporary hearts. So once you lose like a full um, soul heart, then it just, um, it won't regenerate such as your regular red heart containers. Which, of course, you know, if you know, if you have the opportunity to grab a soul heart, go ahead and grab it. Of course, more keys. Um, more coins. I'm, of course, uh, one of my tactics I like to do is that at least any time before reaching the next floor, always make sure to... Always make sure to have at least one key, because you at least want to be able to get an item every four. Um, of course, depending on what the item could be, such as like if it's useful, like of course getting the laser, which just has like infinite range, and you can just stand on the other side of the room getting, you know, kills from afar. Um, what else? Oh yeah, I know recently I keep getting the, the like, triple shot. That, of course, it just, like, reminds me of, like, a shotgun. But, that, it's very useful when you have, like, when you get tears that, okay, of course, you don't want to stand close to the red poops, because it's, it's, like, it's, like, standing on spikes, I would say. <laughs> which hurt you, but they also regenerate, unlike the normal poops that don't regenerate after being destroyed. Um... Okay, so we finally found the room with the uh, golden door. Or maybe you could just call it item door. I, like, I'm not... I unfortunately am not too bright on information or proper terms. Yeah. Let's just go. Okay, so of course burning blast plus five bombs. Having as many bombs as you can. Um getting as well, getting as much as you can is always useful, especially when of course like over here, I mean 13 coins and well okay, yeah. It's uh, you I guess you could say that bombs have a so like I guess starting from a corner of a square it would be three by three square so of course you know it's so like one two I'm able to break these two blocks just from having a bomb right here um I have 15 let's go ahead um I'll just get this up to 20 Level 1 store upgrade. Uh, that's good. Uh, I know on Xbox I've gotten it up to 300. So, of course, on Xbox I've gotten a very good... I've stored up plenty of coins for all the upgrades. I'm pretty sure, like, eventually it's Steam. It's like Steam sale that unlocks 
as an item you can get, which uh, which can uh, on some items it's priced. I'm not sure if it have. If, I'm pretty sure Steam sale. Oh yeah, because it's fifty percent off. So, um, okay, I need to play through that Okay, let's just focus on him. Of course, like items, if it's like 15 uh, coins, I'm pretty sure some, oh yeah, that's what it does. It like halves most items. What is this? Okay, good. So of course, uh, uh, health is, I don't think I've saved any hearts. No, that was the last four. I'm gonna go and go forth, of course. An item that raises health is always good. And then luck, I am still not entirely sure what luck um, helps with. Oh, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's like items that have like a secondary effect um, have a higher chance of activating, I'm pretty sure. Of course, you know, just having like basic tiers, um, that's, I mean, that's fine, but of course you always just want to be able to immediately find an, I uh, an item that can give you like charged shots, like, the, you know, of course like the Omega Beam, <laughs> I guess I would call it that. Um, anything that can give you like different or some um, different tiers or something that can increase your strength would be nice. Um, I was pretty sure this makes me smaller, increases speed. Yeah, speed plus range. So I mean that's good if I want to just stay far like this. Speed is good for all the like the enemies that like run and chase after you. Okay. Okay. Uh, there goes our first run. Like I said, if I can find an item that can change my tiers up, give me better tiers or something that just makes me stronger, I mean, that would have been nice. But of course, you know, just get good, you know, that's all you can say. Get good, you know, at the game. Oh, uh, what is it? Temporary but. And I'm pretty sure this is for each floor, or maybe this is each. Please. Okay. Um. At least I had him. Um. So I mean that's nice. Uh, and like the la that last run had a battery. That's um. That's helpful for items that I just got that need a charge. So I cleared one. I used the item the charge emptied and so anytime every time you clear a room that goes up one charge and some items their charges charges are differently like such as like oh you gotta go through six rooms in order to get a um you know full charge to use your item because like I know very good abilities such as I know the one that makes you temporarily Invincible. I want to say that's like six rooms, or maybe even eight rooms. I can't remember. But of course, like something like that, that's very good against um, bosses, such as like if you just want to be able to, you know, keep yourself at full health, or you know, you're just stuck at half a heart. Um, Um, so like, of course, like after this, like I know I could get it, I could just go straight for the boss. I heard, already have the item, um, of the floor, and I'm, like, I'm at full health. Um, but I mean, I would say like, go ahead and just clear as many rooms as you can, because, you know, you want to get as many as you, and as, as many coins as you want to get so that you won't be broke. 
that I, you can just buy hearts if you're low in the shop. Um, you could get, you know, if you're low on keys, you have a chance of getting keys. And like right here, like a room that uh, had a boss. Um, got a tarot card. Let me just kill him real first. Um, so yeah, you know, just clearing rooms is always good. The sun. Yeah, that heals. So like if, you know, like if I'm very low on hearts, um, I'll go ahead and... I'm confident. <laughs> I'm confident in my skills and thank... No, no, please, thank you. I don't remember what this trinket does. Um, we're just gonna go with the flow. <laughs> Thankfully, I, I was confident in my skills to just go straight to the boss with only one heart. I also have the sun, so if I get scared, I'll just use the sun. I'm fine. And then which... I'm pretty sure this one helps if the enemy is shooting at me. I'm scared, I'm just gonna do it. Oh, I don't... I didn't realize it also... I don't know if it has that... Okay, that's also amazing too. Because not only are my tiers bigger, but they're stronger. Of course, like I said, you know, all stats go up. So that's already an amazing item. <laughs> Let's just hope. I mean, so far, like, body generator, that's good for, um, you know, like I had that firefly. Um, of course, now we got all stats up. I don't remember what orange enemies. Okay, so they drop coins. I know, like, gray ones, it's either bombs or that they drop, or, like, they could explode. I know if they're, like, purple, pinkish, they they just immediately have, like, homing shots. Pretty sure. I'm not gonna use a bomb on that. Which one is this? Teleport. I'm pretty sure this is like, it teleports you into any room. I mean, I use it, but I... As far as I know, if, as long as you have like the hanged man, which immediately lets you, um, you know, hanged man uh, tarot card, it allows you to just, um, like fly over for one room. And, of course, if you have, like, wings, or you're, I'm pretty sure, Azazel, um, of course, you could just fly over those blocks and just go ahead and grab all that treasure. Um, more coins. Oh, wait, let's just go down. Okay. Um, not a big fan of the, of these flies. Oh, yeah, see, like that, because I'm pretty sure, like, the darker shade. Those ones, like, you kill them, they explode. Um, let's just... Okay. Still only have one bomb, I just want to save it. <sighs> if I had two, I would go ahead and just, like, go for one of these. Two bombs, okay. I should have went back to the... But I do need, I need to go back to Buddy Generator. I mean, I feel, I mean, I'm sure, like, it has a chance of putting me into a, like, hidden room. Or just, you know, of course, because it's any room. I could have a chance to go into a shop or, you know, just any room that requires a key or bombs. I wouldn't have to spend said item. Um, hell room. I have four hearts, so like these, so you either, so like you see like, which cost a heart. I'm telling you right now, this, this right here, Guppy, like I guess Guppy's dead body, corpse. Um. Worst item, because you could, I had one run, I was at like, seven or eight hearts, and the moment you pick this up, um, 
all your hearts go back to one heart container, but you have nine lives. Worst. Um, what is this? What you gave me? I'm pretty confident. Oh, look. Like I said earlier, if I could fly. I don't remember if it was that one room. I'm pretty... I'm gonna check this one down here for a little bit. Oh, get a right. Yes. Because look at this, like already. Portability, and that's a dime? Nickel. Which is still fine, because that gives me plenty of coins. So already, I mean, I'm a confident. I feel fine with just my two con heart containers. Flying, of course, is one of the best things that you could possibly, you know what, we're gonna take a chance. Oh my god. <laughs> I got one of... I, I would say... Oh wait, does it not... Oh no, I, it only explodes when there's an enemy. On contact. Hits an enemy on contact. But yes, this is already... <laughs> very... Amazing. Please, thank you. So like now I don't have to worry, I'm pretty sure I don't have to worry about spikes, I don't have to worry about like items from afar. How about <laughs> I uh, don't get myself killed because this is already a really great run. Oh, that's what, <laughs> that's what hurt me, the stupid uh, brain. Fart bomb. Play Toho before. I, I'm very good at dodging bullets. I swear. Yeah, that's another idea. Uh, doing Toho. Uh, doing Toho videos. Um, I guess I'll just talk about Toho real quick. Um, ever since <laughs> one of my friends from middle school showed me this video, I was like, hey. Uh, ch ch check out this funny video, and it's like, and it's the Ronald McDonald, um, it's not Ronald McDonald Sanity, or maybe it is, but it's one of, it had like two names that, like, people posted, and then it got popular, but, um, I remember he showed me at lunch, uh, lunchtime, and I was like, man, that, that looks like a really cool, like, funny video, so then I go home, and then, like, I start, like, learning, about Toho, and it's like, like, literally top three favorite video game series. Just like, you know, because the uh, Ronald McDonald Insanity, it's like, you know, I'm like, wow, the, you know, what, what, what else could I like learn from like this video? So then, um, that's, you know, like the, then you learn that the music is, um, uh, UN Owen is her. No, I'm sorry. UN Owen was was her, and so then you know learn about Flandre Scarlet, and then you go from there, and then you start learning about the different like characters and. Oh yeah, that's if I stand still. Um, it might make me invincible while I'm still, but like, you know, it's like you learn about this character, and then you start going from there, and then. It's like, wow, it's like, whoa, bullet hell, that, that, that's awesome, you know, you, just, you gotta dodge like millions and hundreds of bullets, and like, you, you get hit once, you're dead, like, you know, you know like, such as popular other, um, shmups, shoot 'em ups um, like, Ikaruga, um, I mean, it's, I mean, there's different shmups, because there's the, you know, side-scrolling, left to right, and then there's, um, Toho, which is, you know, you're on the bottom screen, then you, like, you know, sh you shoot upwards. Um, just, yeah, Toho is literally just one of my favorite number, I, <laughs> I would say, as of right now, like, right next to, uh, I'm gonna say this right now, Banjo-Kazooie, like, another series with Psycho-Sonic that I grew up. I, you know, 
<laughs> Love Banjo Kazooie. Um, still hoping that one tears up. No, see that's. I'll, I'll explain that after my rant. But um, yeah. Banjo Kazooie, you know, I loved it. You know, I, I grew up playing it on the N64, which you know I still have. It still works. Um. I don't have two, I don't have the N64 version of two, but, you know, I eventually did get it on Xbox. Um, that's a challenge room, you know, if you, I don't want to fight, like, a, you know, horde of enemies right now, which, you know, gets you an item as well, pretty sure, but, um, but Banjo Kazooie, just it's amazing. I mean, I know plenty of people say like, oh, it's overrated, or I mean, it's look Banjo Kazooie. It's perfect for um, just for you know, you just want to go around. You want you want to run around in this like sandbox like area, and you want to say sandbox but it's it's just cool to go into these worlds and just jump around in this 3d space and you know at the time the 90s it was you know you know 3d games oh that's you know the biggest thing you know you, you go from like any uh, you know people grow up on nintendo like oh nes the super nintendo um of course you know that they, they have to grab that graphics chip which Um, you know, that try to emulate, or try to simulate, I should say, a 3D space. But, you know, it sort of worked. Speed up, size down. I guess I'm normal. Normal size. But, like, you know, it's really my favorite series, just growing up, you know, getting stuck in Clanker's cavern, not knowing how to get inside uh, Clanker himself. Got half a heart. I would prefer not to die right now. Until eventually, you know, you could. Because at the time, you know, when you're young, I. Of course, like mid. mid 2000s, like, you know. You don't exactly. Like, all, all, all you really can do is... I swear, I swear I saw myself die for a moment there. Can I get lucky in this be health up? Okay. But, you know, it's like... Me growing up... It was just like... I'm young, growing up... <laughs> trying my best to just figure out these levels. You know, I, I like the pretty colors. I like the funny talking bear and talking bird. And they, 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 they make the funny sound, you know, go hoot and ha 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 ha. Of course, you know, ikum bokum, mumbo jumbo, and just, you know, it's, you know, you, you, you do your best to play the game, you know. It's like, oh, you know, jump around and, you know, playing that, you know, that's fun. Oh, yeah, and of course, you know, I also had Super Mario 64, which, you know, highly, uh, Highly loved Nintendo 64 game. Let's just use this. Um, I don't know if but, um, you know, of course, even I love um, Super Mario 64. You know, when I was younger, like the farthest I could get, or at least I can remember, is um, Wet Dry World. Me. I don't remember how it works. I'll just keep it for now. But, um, of course, Wet Dry World. That's, you know, just all these memories. And, like, the backgrounds, too. It's like, oh, look look at that. The building, the, the building that's in the, like, in, the, in the far back in Wet Dry World is like, you know, you, you look, and then you look up, you know, it's like, it's like you're underwater. You know, you see the see the, the sunlight coming down from the water and 
you see the one building that stands out from all, the, all these different buildings and it's like, you know, you use your imagination and try to just, you know, go from there, you know, like not only are you playing the levels, but it's all just, you know, it's all just amazing. I'll just come back to the heart. Well, unfortunately, I'm just gonna destroy you. I'll go ahead and open this. Um, you know, at this point, I'm pretty sure there's a lot of stuff I said. Oh yeah, I'll go back and talk about this thing that uh. I, 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 I said I was going to talk, unfortunately, as of right now, I have forgotten. But yeah, um, just my history with video games, you know, growing up with Nintendo 64 and, um, you know, getting older and then, like, it's like, wow, you know, growing up, you're thinking, oh, wow, this game is only going to be on this console, or, you know, and then growing up, it's like... Wow, this company makes really cool games because, like, for all the other people who played, um, like, all the other growing up playing rareware games, it's like ban oh, Banjo Kazooie, Banjo Tooie, and then, like, you know, Conqueror's Wrath Burden. You know, the, that was very infamous. That was very, very infamous for what it was, you know, it was like, oh, cute red squirrel in a blue jacket. Um, it goes around, you know, you know, can hover on its tail, and then, you, you know, you play through the game, and you got, you got, got this cog on a wall, curse, and you got this, this talking literal cat fish <laughs> that get mauled by a dog fish. And then you get like, <laughs> you get far into the game, and there's a Saving Private Ryan scene. Or just, or even you could call it a Saving Private Ryan chapter. <laughs> Where you go up, you're on those, um, man, I, I wish I remember what they're called. But, you know, Conquer is like realizing, oh no, this is like really serious what's about to go down. All the carnage, carnage starts, and it's just <laughs> oh, oh man, it's it's just it's amazing just to see like in this cutesy game all these things happen that would normally just you know you'd never imagine that could happen. And, you know that's that's some of the magic that Rareware gave us, and um. I don't know if I should, like, bring it up, but, like, the, just, like, the part where it was, like, I grew up and then I found out, oh, and, I wonder if Banjo-Kazooie is going to get more games, and then, like, you know, then I play, I remember, from my, I remember from seeing, like, commercials on my birthday, or commercials before my birthday, that, oh, Banjo-Kazooie, nuts and bolts, oh, that's crazy. I, I, I've been playing this game so many times on the Xbox and N64, you know, I've got so many hours on the N64 version, you know, you know, I eventually, like, 100% it, it's amazing, and then Banjo, Kazooie, Nuts and Bolts, it's, you know, look, I, I love it, I'm gonna say this right now, I love Banjo, Kazooie, Nuts and Bolts. And I know plenty of people, you know, expected Banjo 3E, you know. I mentioned Banjo 3E because, um, I don't remember if, uh, I don't know which came first, that flash, that animation on YouTube that someone made <laughs> where, I don't remember, like, at the end of the video, like, Grunty gets, like, destroyed or whatever. And it's just her head, like as a you know skeleton. Because at the end of Banjo 2, you know, 
that's what happens. She's just a skeleton head. And she's like, I'll see you all on ban in Banjo 4E. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure a Jinjo comes by, takes her head, and and she's like, what? What are you doing with me? And the ban... I'm pretty sure I'm, like, I'm getting this wrong, because it's, it's been so many years since I've watched the animation. But he's like, you're going on eBay. Which... Honestly? I, like, it, it really shows, like, you know, the, the fan, you know, the fan community, you know, we all still love, well, I, at least I still do love Banjo-Kazooie, the Banjo-Kazooie series. It's just, you know, I'd say sad that Rareware got bought out by, um, Microsoft, and they, I would say, that they haven't been doing much with it now. Okay, that's great. I got hit. But um, I'll just finish my explanation real quick. But um, yeah. Like, I know they've. I don't remember if they done if Microsoft has helped out much with like the Killer Instinct. Cause I know I've like. Also, too, of like I've grown up like watching like Maximilian Dude, you know, him, and then, you know, so, you know, all the other like cool like fighting game create um, content creators, like you know the Switcher and all them, you know, like oh Killer In Killer Instinct was you know you know they played that and their stuff, and then like Maximilian Dude, he's he's done videos talking about like a lot of like. You know, kill, oh, Killer Instinct, you know, on the Xbox, um, Xbox One, around that, you know, it's, you know, it's really good, and then, like, you know, you've seen, like, you know, the whole development, and, you know, he's, you know, talked with the team, and just, there's that, and then I know, this must have been, maybe, um, three to four years, maybe, ago, there, there was a teaser for a new... What is it? A Perfect Dark. You know, another Rareware series. And as far as I know, I, I could be wrong, but the only information that we've gotten from that Perfect Dark game for this new gen new generation of consoles, all we've gotten is that teaser. And I'm just thinking like, man, this could just be the next uh, next uh, Met Metroid Prime 4. You know, that's who knows how long we'll be getting an update on that game um of course and then of course everyone says about metro prime 4 oh you know metroid dread you know that that apparently metroid prime 4 got turned into that um got turned into <laughs> that's hilarious of course you know we don't know if that's true because, of course, we also got that Metroid Prime remake. Um, I'll mention this now. I, because I also, you know, Vine Saws Vinny. I've, you know, grown up, like, watching him as well, watching his streams. And, like, you know, like, watching him and knowing him. It's like, you know, he, he loves the Metroid series. You know, he's, you know, big Nintendo fan. Like, you know, like me, you know, but, you know, he's grown up with all of this. And it's just like, wow, Metroid Prime. You know, we got a remake for that. So where is Metroid Prime 4? But, um, just, like, going back to, like, Microsoft buying Rareware. You know, I'd like to see a new Banjo-Kazooie. You know, I'm, I, I still love playing Banjo-Kazooie Nuts and Bolts. So, um, yeah, um, that'll be the end of this video. Um, thanks for watching. Uh, more gaming content, <laughs> um, there will be more Sonic, and, you know, this is just, I really wanted to just play Isaac, so that's why I got up this video, so, thanks for watching.